Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk, you know it. I am so excited for this walk because as you can see, well first of all it's a beautiful day. It is very cold, it's like minus two but very sunny and there's no wind so it's a beautiful day. And I'm also excited because we are finally at Lidinge. It is one of the most requested videos on this uh, channel. Everyone, everyone is like, Daniel, when are you going to Lidinge? And as you can see in the sign here, we are in front of the Lidinge Museum. So let's turn around here. It is 9 o'clock in the morning, so the shops are not really open yet, but we arrived here at Lidinge Centrum. Lidinge is a island of the Stockholm archipelago. Um, and then it's the island closer to the city. And it's a really posh place. It is a bit of an iconic place because, you know, Lidinge is known for being posh. Lidinge is known for being very Swedish and you know this island has been used a lot in movies and in series as you know how to portray an upper-class uh, Swedish society. I think after Danderud and Tabby is the third richest municipality of um, Sweden um, but in recent years they build a lot of apartments as well so it's not just the big villas that it's known for um, but I don't think we'll see some of those really rich places right now because we're at the center and we're gonna walk to a place called um, Miles Gordon which is a museum art museum and also that's really why I'm going because of the amazing view all right anyways we are at Leninger Centrum let's have a look around I think there's around 48,000 people living on the whole, whole island. So you can see this is quite a new center. Looks quite nice. <laughs> What's up here? Let's have a look at the statue. This is becoming a thing now, the statues. <laughs> Hello. There's a little hat. What is it? Mennigan i centrum. All right. Some shops here, some apartments above it. Yeah, like originally, especially like close to the water, you know, you have those massive villas that you also see in um, US Home, for example. But now here, especially in the center and this side of town, there's a lot of apartments as well. So they're mixing it up a bit. And uh, the trip on the bus, I took the bus from Roopsteen on the red line and it was so beautiful because you cross the bridge and then you can see the full island kind of um, in the distance and it looks really lovely. So what is this? Let's go up these stairs. Go. We haven't even started yet, already doing stairs. Uh, still feeling, <laughs> feeling yesterday's to be honest. So what's over here? Oh, this is the library. Cool, leading a library. And here we've got some kind of park, as it seems. Yeah, let's let's go this way here. Let's pass the library here on the left side. Okay, there's the parking. I see at the back there some kind of cafe. Leon Stegen, this is called. The Lion Trail. <laughs> well, the classic Swedish sign that you see everywhere. A winter under hole. But it's kind of done with the winter, although I saw in the coming days a little bit of snow is coming. Nice little park here. So let's uh, let's see if we can find Miles Gordon. Um, I googled it, and apparently the views are spec 
spectacular. So yeah, really looking forward to that. Okay, there's some children there, so let's go here to the left. Is that a leaf blower I hear at the back? Yeah, maybe. Oh, it says a sign, City Hall, that way. Let's check out the City Hall of Leading, huh? Stockholm 1.4. That's very specific, isn't it? 1.4. Ah, oh, okay. I think that's the city hall over there, maybe. Let's have a look. Let's cross the street. So, chat gang, how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's feeling great. A uh, surprise, some more stairs. Okay, wait a second, people. I see some animals again. This is becoming a thing. We've seen ponies, we've seen... I don't know, what else did we see? But now... A zorjur, as we call it in Sweden. A deer. I don't know exactly which type of deer there is in English, so... Probably someone can give me the Latin name of this lovely animal, which you see everywhere in Sweden. And here across the stairs here we see a I don't even know what this is called in English because it's not a regular pig it's one of those forest uh, ones um, I have a brain freeze people help me like in Dutch we call this a hangbuikswijn a swine kind of <laughs> is that a word not sure all right let's go this way the big windows here, I think that's the library also. Is it two parts of the library? I'm not really sure. Because that's also a library. Didn't we just pass a library? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Um, some artwork here. And some schools visiting. Maybe that's the library for children or something. I don't know. What's this? Yeah, this is the city hall. Yeah, there it says Stadshus. Cool, a lot of glass. Some more artwork over there. Yeah, I mean, I've only been here for 10 minutes a leading up, but I'm already liking it. It's nice. You can see that it's a rich municipality. They put a lot of effort into the, you know, the designs and there's benches everywhere and green spaces. Oh, yeah, let's have a look on the map of the island. Um, so you get an idea of what's happening. So that's where we just were, basically. I can see there's a boardwalk across the water there, along the water. And um, so I think that's where we are. And that's where I'm walking. So I'm kind of walking that way. I think, I hope, I'm not sure. We'll find out. If not, this is going to be a two-hour video, <laughs> because I'm walking in the wrong direction. A nice little walking bridge up there, but I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. Stockholm 1.3. Okay, so we walked 100 meters into the right direction. That's good. If it would have said 1.6, then I've been walk walking wrongly. A Solna Corf Grill. They got that here as well, leading. Uh, they're not too posh for um, a good old hot dog. Good to know, good to know.
I am so kaffesugen, as we call it in Swedish. Kaffesugen is actually really good, like a uh, word of the day. It means like, you know, like, I feel like coffee, basically. Kaffesugen. Sugen, hmm, it's a bit of a hard one to translate. Omena sugen på någonting, then it means like you feel like it, you know what I mean? Like that. That's a quite uh, good way of explaining it. But yeah, these, uh, this walk doesn't really give a good impression of Lidinga. Because this is the, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to say the poor part, but yeah, anyway. The more middle class part, let me put it that way, the apartments. Because most people live in like mansions here. The bicycles are back out. Although this morning it was literally like minus eight degrees. It was so cold. It's getting better now. So during the day it's fine, but in the night it's really cold. Almost colder than it was during the winter. But this is a typical Stockholm thing, Sweden thing. Like you're thinking, way, spring has arrived. And then winter says, no, don't think so. Oh, I see a sushi bar across the street there. And this place is called Lidinge Arena. I wonder what they do in there. It doesn't look like an arena to me. Let's Google that when I get home. The leading arena. Oh, is the road, yeah. So like this you can drive back over the bridge to the other side to do Upstien. Stockholmsvägen, this is called here. So there in the far distance you can kind of see Stockholm over the bridge. Björnvägen to the left. Sikabu Gordon. Uh, that's not the Gordon we're going, we're going to Mila's Gordon. Well that's if I can find it at least. <laughs> Some dry cleaning. Oh, what's helping? What's happening in leading? Eh? Let's learn how to dance. Some secondhand stuff. Oh, allotment gardens. Help with homework. Uh, maybe or maybe not oh oh wait there we go Miles Gordon
can't believe I almost did 400 walks already. Wow. Oh, we've got the Lidl here. The good old German chain of supermarkets that you see everywhere in Europe. I don't know, are there Lidl's outside of Europe? Not sure. Um, to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen one. Okay, it says Miles Gordon that way, so... Uh, no, let's go this way, so I don't have to cross the street. We've got the Coop here, the other um, chain of supermarkets. Hey. Miles Gordon är dit åt eller? Tack så mycket. Try to create some interaction here with a local person. So no, I did not get lost, but I just wanted to check. If you wanted to chat, I tried it sometimes. Because <laughs> I know you guys love some interaction with local people. Um, it's not always super easy. Because, you know, I cannot just randomly go up to people and go like, Hey, uh, you want to be on my uh, walking channel? I mean, I could if I would cut the video. But that, you know, that creates a lot of more work for me. So then I first have to walk up to someone, cut the video, ask, do you want to be in my video? And then if they say yes, but then it becomes like an interview, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. So let's see. We can have a cool view somewhere. I like I love these stone walls. They really give me an old school old school feeling. Wow, check out the view from here. I know, can I walk up here? Or shall I go down or oh dilemmas dilemmas? Okay, I'm just gonna quickly go up here and see. Oh it says private area, sure. Oh, unfortunately I can't go in there. Okay, I'm gonna go up. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go up here. On the stairs. I'm gonna look for the best view viewing point around here. Oh, these people have a pretty cool view and a cool house. From this balcony over here, they can see the whole panoramic view there. It's nice, like personally, I like these kind of things the best, you know, like really exploring 
Um, exploring new areas. I mean a bit of both. I do love a good old walk on Sao Domaam, Gamla Stankung's home as well, but really going to a place that I've never been before. It's super nice as well. Leading a further talk Zeus. Cool. Sulstigen, the sun path. The Scandic Hotel. Uh, see here we got some really cool houses. That's more leading us style to me. In the meanwhile, the sun is coming. Hey, look at the size of that house over there. Must have like four floors. Oh yes, now now we're talking leading uh, here. I mean, the house has a greenhouse attached to it that's bigger than my apartment. Same this one. One, two, three. Four floors. Yeah, check at the height of that house. That's ridiculous. Lantandel. So you got the museum. It's probably, I don't know if I can go in or if it's closed or whatever, but. Maybe they can go. Can I go in here? No, I cannot go in here. But I'll find a lookout point somewhere. I'll find it. Ursäkta, kan man gå ner vid vattnet också? Vi går längs vattnet så. Ja. Ja, det kan vi göra. Ja, det här är höger någonstans ja, det eller? Det finns en bro över där borta. Ja, toppen. Det är 400 meter. Dit och sen till höger. Ja, Tack så mycket. Hej då. Yeah, I can go along the water. I was uh, a little afraid for a second that they closed it all off. You know how it goes with rich people, they like to claim their land and the entrance to the border and all that kind of stuff, so...
So the actual museum is not open yet, but it doesn't matter because we're going to walk around. We'll find the waterfront. The GP way, the freeway. Uh, what's the thing with people having an own basket ring on there? Is that to show off that you have a lot of space? Or? Yeah, I see that all everywhere in like upper class neighborhoods. They need a trampoline and a thing to throw baskets. So the guy said it's like 400 meters and then to the right or whatever. Can I go on this side of the road? Yeah, I guess I can. In the meanwhile, it's very mo lightly snowing, kind of. There's a few flakes here and there. I might take a break tomorrow so I'm not sure if there will be a video tomorrow um, because I have a lot to do so I might hope or hop over one day um, you guys will manage well we hardly managed without Monica so <laughs> Monica was away for a few days because she had her phone fixed and everyone was panicking. Where did Monica go, people? No, she just had her phone fixed. It was all good. Oh, okay, okay. That's where we're going there. Oh, I see. Oh, this is this is going to end up as a long walk, I think. Oh, look at that. They have some like bonsai trees over there. Cool. Yeah, so the guys have 400 meters and then to the right. That's probably here. Bug be good. Okay, okay. Nice little foresty area here. So what's down there? Is that the train track? So what is it? Yes, it is. Let's see if we see any squirrels here. Or deers or... Anything other? Some wildlife or whatever. Oh, I'm happy I went out here. It's nice here. Well, let's see how it looks when we get to the water. Well, you can feel we're getting away from the road, so more quiet and relaxed.
I wonder where the train station is actually. Oh. Speaking of the train. Oh, it goes to Rupstien. So that means if I follow this one, maybe I can walk over the bridge from here, but that seems a bit far. Oh, she's running down there. Dukte, as we would say in Swedish. <laughs> well, down is one thing, but she's got to go up as well at some point. So peaceful here. Well, it's peaceful when the train's not coming. <laughs> so it's quite cool how close you actually get to the train track here. That's basically like one meter from it. Oh, there it is. Cool. See? That's how close. I have a feeling this will be the longest video I've ever done. Because if this track will take me all the way to that bridge, and then when I'm at the bridge, I probably go like, all right, I'm at the bridge now. I might as well walk over it. Look how far that is. Because the train is going over there. They just passed us. Okay. Beautiful. See, so the museum is over there. So I got the same view now, but for free. Oh, these trees look pretty dead, actually. It almost looked like they had the fire here. Oh, you don't want to fall down here. Really steep. Nice. Some exercise. The people going here on their bicycle are not taking the easy way. Because he has to go up that hill over there. Even from here you can see the Kaknes Toon over there. And Rupstien on that side.
I guess there are some people, retired people, that do this walk every day. Cool, those apartments here, on the cliff here. I don't know if it really comes across here, but this is so beautiful. I think if you ever go on like a first date on the summer, go over there, put your feet over the edge, get a bottle of wine, well, if that doesn't work, you know, at, at sunset, then nothing works. Oh, you can hear the water kind of bouncing against the, the edge of the cliffs, of the rocks. I'm lucky it's not windy today, because this walk would have been completely impossible along the water when there's a lot of wind. Here, now you can see the full length of the, of the bridge. It's funny because when you're on the bus, it doesn't look much. It, it basically takes like 30 seconds to cross it. Because there was only two bus stops. Like to go all the way to uh, leading a centrum. I guess it's pretty good fishing spot as well here. Let's sit down for a few seconds. <sighs> I don't know if you can see, but the water is actually really clear. You can easily see the bottom, there's no stuff floating around. Nice. Yeah, I'm happy I took this route. It, it wasn't the easiest way, but uh, the best way. So the question is, how do I get up there? Wait, is this the train? Oh, let's go here. That's fun.
Oh yeah. Right, that was a bit spontaneous. Uh, I have to show my ticket also. Right, that was awesome. A little spontaneous trip on the tram line here. So now I made it to Rupstian because literally if I would have walked over that bridge, it probably would have taken me another half an hour. So yeah, that was fun. So I think this is a perfect moment to round up today's video. We made it to Dupstien all the way from Liedinge. So thank you for watching folks. And I'll see you tomorrow on a new adventure.